They say I might as well face the truth But I am just too long in the tooth So I'm an OAP and weak need But I'm not yet quite gone to see I may be over the hill now that I have retired Fading away but I'm not yet expired Clapped out, run down, too old to say One foot in the grave about six o'clock. I'm just ringing to say that all being well, we'll be up there Sunday afternoon about three. But I'll speak to you soon. (laughs) Bye-bye. Any luck? How did it go? Yes, very well, surprisingly. See the wild man of Borneo at another good day in the garden. <laughs> Quicker using a trained lugworm at this rate. Well, who got him in? Not me. There was no necessity for it in the first place. There's ever a necessity with that bloody tree next door sucking all the moisture out of our garden like an elephant's trunk. <laughs> Get his roots chopped off on our side. We might be able to grow something out there again. <laughs> He's charged me for one guppy too many here. <laughs> I oh, know, I tell a lie, he hasn't. So, how did you get on at the Herald offices? Did you get that job on the packing bench or what? They're going to ring me up and let me know tomorrow. They say I have to be sure I have to be in between nine and one. Oh, well, that sounds hopeful, doesn't it? I hope you're going to have the decency to take the dead ones out first this time. <laughs> yes, I am. Where's the tea strainer? <laughs> of those things you've managed to kill off now. <laughs> I've heard anything like it since biblical times. You flattened 12 in one go when you dropped that rock in the tank. <laughs> it's just teething troubles, that's all. I think I know what I'm doing wrong now. Fish have a better life expectancy in the co-op freezer than they do in that thing. <laughs> And can we please not flush them down the toilet this time? As half the bloody things come floating back up again. <laughs> yes. Now, I've just got a few more adjustments to make to this airflow, and they'll be fine. By the way, I've spoken to Mum this afternoon. She's beginning to get the hang of that answering machine more now. I don't really know why you got one for her in the first place. You know she never goes far. She might go a bit further if she stopped growing and run her beans up a Zimmer frame. <laughs> I said we'd pop up there Sunday afternoon. 
battered by the minute. Went over there the other week. She was slicing wax fruit onto her old bran. Says it keeps her regular. It keeps her regular? So does a stick of dynamite up your... <laughs> I could hear them talking next door. Where's that glass? God spare us. Here we go again. They're talking about us. I just caught the words, arsehole think he's playing at. <laughs> oh, quiet. I wonder what's happening. Lucky as the day is long. There's five lots of them he's brought home in the last week. Wouldn't be surprised if he's eating them on Ritz crackers. <laughs> Am I going to get my spaghetti jar back again tonight or what? Hmm. Well, what with that and our friend Homo Erectus out the back, you never know what you're going to see there next. Homo Erectus? Hmm. I imagine he must live in a cave quite nearby somewhere. Comes out for a few hours each day to lumber around Meldrew's garden with a shovel in his fist. <laughs> quite sure why. If you're talking about that workman next door, I think he looks cute. Cute. Never seen so much hair growing down someone's back in all my life. I could blow dry his bottom every morning. I tell you, if he damages that cherry tree, there'll be all hell to pay. Here you go. Come on. Wonder why he only eats cat food. Don't look at me. He's your baby substitute. What's that supposed to mean? Brought him for you. Yes. Of course you did. Wonder what the weather's going to be like, Tanya. It's sunny everywhere, but hopefully it's warmer today. They shouldn't be the right spot tonight. Well, well, Yo! How's it hanging, Mr Mildew? OK. Sorry I didn't get very far yesterday. I had a slight problem with the dehydration. I just let it breathe overnight. Get some precipitation in your subsoil. And how is it this morning? Mild, mild, mild this morning. Here, look. Yielding, yielding straight away, that is. See for yourself. Yeah. Mm. Let's get a bit more supple than usual. You see what I'm saying about your moisture content? Yes. Yeah. Try keeping it on the plastic sheeting if you can, Mr. Mildew. Oh, right. Yes, sorry. Shoo! All right, love queen! <laughs> Is it a wonderful wicked morning or what? Hello, how are you today? As ever, darling, with a song in my heart and a tongue in my ear. Oh. <laughs> Me <laughs> up here. But that's hard work, digging down all that way with just a shovel. I tried it once with a pneumatic drill, but it kept giving me orgasms. Had to stop. <laughs> what? Wait. What the bloody hell am I doing? I suppose we pay you to do this, for God's sake. Let this bloody well get back in there and get on with it. Absolutely, Mr Meldrew, no problems. I'll be right on it. I thought you'd gone. Well, I was just getting into the car when Mrs. Ellsbury's children came running across with this. So they'd brought it back to us from Westwood Hoe as a present. Bless them. Oh, yes. The very thing I was about to add to my Christmas present list. A sack full of seaweed. <laughs> That's your new fish tank. Wasn't that thoughtful? Yes, very thoughtful. Loading half the North Atlantic into a rubbish bag. <laughs> Barnacles and God knows what not in here. Oh, uh, hang on. I think I can just see Hans and Lottie Hass down the bottom as well. <laughs> well, I've got to go. What time did they say they'd ring about that job? Before one, but that'll only be if I've got it. Oh, well, I'll keep my fingers crossed and I may ring you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Yo, Mr. Meldrew! 
quarter to bloody one. <laughs> Ring for God's sake, can't you? <laughs> well, that's that then. Another one down this swanee. Must have needed my head examining to think they'd ring in the first place. What did I come up here for? the phone in case they do. Yes, I'll talk to you later. Yes. Right. Bye. Hey, boy. Come on. Hey, boy. Denzel? from home. I'm sure he'd have left you a note. <laughs> Perhaps I'll just take one more look in the airing cupboard. <sighs> oh, look at that. Why is it? Every time you spend half an hour trying to pick them apart, it's always a bloody two-page advert for Peugeot. <laughs> Completely wasted four seconds of my life doing that. <sighs> four two nine one. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> well, who would have thought it? <laughs> Get your bloody nose out of that bread bin. <laughs> Where's he got to this morning? <laughs> <laughs> 